Welcome back to Piers Morgan Uncensored. There's a big budget Netflix series on Cleopatra has been hit with claims of cultural vandalism over the casting of black actress Adele James in the lead role. Well, Cleopatra's precise heritage is a point of scholarly debate. There's no evidence that she was black and the casting has caused major controversy in Egypt, spurring a lawsuit and claims the programme makers are erasing Egyptian identity. It's not the first casting controversy we've seen, of course, although the backlash is normally the other way round. Brian Cranston was lambasted for playing a disabled character in The Upside, as was Jake Gyllenhaal, who starred in The Prince of Persia, despite not being Persian or a prince. And, of course, Eddie Redmayne, who issued a grovelling apology for playing a trans woman in The Danish Girl. So is casting Cleopatra as a black woman culturally insensitive? Should we care? Isn't the job of an actor, after all, to act? Well, joining me now is legendary Egyptian comedian Bassem Youssef and author of The Case for Cancel Culture, Ernest Owens. Well, welcome to both of you. OK, let me start with you, um, Ernest Owens. Off you go. Yeah, um, I think that this is ridiculous. I think that she um, is in full range to play Cleopatra. I think people should remember that there was controversy when the late, great Elizabeth Taylor played Cleopatra, and people thought that it was inaccurate for a white woman like her to play the character. Um, history has said that there is some racial ambiguity around um, Cleopatra's identity. She's definitely not white. And I think to even assume that Egyptians do not carry some level of African ancestry that can have a darker skin complexion is also historically inaccurate. So I think she's more of the ideal of what Cleopatra would look like more than Elizabeth Taylor would be. And you didn't see as much backlash for Elizabeth Taylor playing okay. Cleopatra yeah, compared that's a, to that. That's a fair point. So let me go to you, Bess. I mean, that is a fair point. Liz, Liz Taylor was the biggest movie star in the world at the time she played Cleopatra. She was not Egyptian. What's the difference? Well, first of all, this was Hollywood before it was informed. This is where 1961, when Cleopatra by Elizabeth Taylor, we're not crazy about Elizabeth Taylor playing Cleopatra either. That was also inaccurate. I don't know where do you get the idea that we're happy that she played the role. As a matter of fact, 1961 Cleopatra movie was banned in, 19, in Egypt and many Arab countries because of Elizabeth Taylor's stance towards the, the state of Israel because they supported them. So I don't know where does he kind of get this information. Second of all, this is the same Hollywood that in 1956 they cast John Wayne at Junkies Khan. So this is a time where Hollywood didn't know any better. Now, the problem for me, it's not about color. It's not about white and black. This is a very reductive way to talk about things. This is the way that Americans talk about it. I'm very sorry. Like, I come from Egypt. Egypt has a very diverse color palette. People can look like me or they can look deeper skin tone like Anwar Sadat, who comes from a Nubian origin. It's not about black and white. It's about the continuous culture uh, appropriation and falsification of history that has been done by what the so-called Afrocentrist movement. The Afrocentric movement started the last century as a way, in a good intention, to teach African American about their rich history of West Africa, the great empire of Benin, of Ghana, um, of uh, Songali, uh, the great empire of Mali. But the thing is, that's why you find people like Kevin Hart who subscribes to these theories, who claim that his ancestors play, uh, build the pyramids. I'm sorry, your ancestors had their own wonderful civilization in West Africa. They are culture appropriating my culture, calling the people of in Egypt of today, despite their skin tone, that we, they call us as invaders, they, we call, okay, they call me, us as right. intruders, and, and, and they are being erased by, from our own history. Okay, this is something that understand, Hollywood has done over I, the years. I understand, but Go let ahead. me throw this back at you. This, this point that we've had so many cases now where people talk about appropriation with actors, be it their sexuality, be it their gender on occasion, be it whatever it may be. Um, and ultimately, I always come back to one point, which is shouldn't actors do what their job description is, act? I mean, shouldn't any actor be able to play any part, actually? And once you start making exceptions for that rule, where do you stop? Is, is that question for me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, this is not a work of fiction. This is a documentary. This is a documentary. This is a huge difference. This is not The Little Mermaid, which is like a fictional character where you can anybody can play anything. The, uh, uh, Cleopatra came from a Macedonian Greek origin. And the thing is, it's not about like the skin color. As I don't, we don't care about if they're black or white. It's about, it's about how Hollywood is so culturally sensitive and they're so sensitive about all kinds of, of minorities. But when it comes to my people, 
we seem to be erased. A couple of years ago, they announced that Gal Gadot, an ex-Israeli soldier who condones her government actions and atrocities against uh, Palestinian children, she was going to play Cleopatra. For me, this is even a bigger insult. And Gal Gadot is not black. It's not about black and white. It's about this idea of, of Hollywood always stealing the culture of my own people. I don't care what Charleston Histon tells you in the Ten Commandments or Steven Spielberg tells you in The Prince of Egypt, but I am sorry, Jewish slaves did not build the Great Pyramid. This has been debunked many times by okay. historians. Let me so the thing is like we are the on, only people on. who are not allowed don't, don't to tell our each own... Other. Our, 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 we, are, we are the only people who are not allowed to, 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 to talk about our own history. All right, let and me Hollywood bring, all right, is doing let, it let for me, us. Okay. I, I disagree. Hang on, hang on, Ernest. Let me ask you a question, Ernest. Which is, sure. how would you feel if a white actor was chosen to play Nelson Mandela? I think that there is historical inaccuracies there. I think that, you know, I think what he's confusing is race and nationality. And I also think that that is why you don't see as many black actors upset as Cynthia Revo, who is British, who played, you know, Harriet, because we understand the nuances of racial identity compared to nationality versus um, the identity of the African dis the diaspora. So no one's upset about the fact that David Onyalu played MLK. Um, there may be some people, but others didn't because we understood the nuance of racial identity. So when we're talking about race and nationality, those are two different things. But I think the issue that that I want to push back on what he said earlier is that there are other actors in this film that are playing Egyptians that do not look like Cleopatra or come from there. And I just feel like the energy being focused on Cleopatra is why some people are pushing back because this actress could easily look by identity looks closer to what it, Cleopatra could look like, but the rest of that cast is fairly white, and you're not saying anything about those individuals. You're only focused on Cleopatra, who's being played by this back black actress, but when you look at the other cast, I don't think they're all Egyptian. I don't think they all represent the cast. All right, let me, so I all think right, let me bring double in... Standard there. Okay, let me bring back Bassem. I mean, if this was in a theatre production, I could imagine this happening Absolutely. without people creating much of a fuss. Is it because it's a Hollywood movie and Hollywood's put itself in the vanguard no, of it's a, cultural it's appropriation? About, it, 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 it's a documentary. Hollywood has been erasing my people from... A ten, we have, are not allowed to tell our own history. And I'm sorry, I have to disagree with the gentleman. It's not about... It's, it, every, it's not just Cleopatra. Everybody in that movie, her court, everybody who's supposed to be Egyptian, they look like they came from West Africa, from the south of the Sahara. We, as Egyptians, are being called intruders and invaders in our own culture. This has been going on systematically. I don't want to wake up one day and find the Museum of the African American Culture and History claiming the stolen Egyptian artifacts in the in the British Museum to be theirs. And, uh, and now I'm hearing that Zendaya, the, the very popular actor who I would love her to play, but the, Zendaya ethnically is, is half Nigerian, half German, and now she's going to play... Where are, the, where are the Egyptian actors? Where are, okay. the, where are the Arab actors who suppose it? And the thing is, the, even like historically wise, you see in the, in, in the, in the trailer, it's like, I don't care what, what, you're, what they told you, but Cleopatra was black. Who's that woman? Why is African-American people are telling my own history? She is there. There's all of these pseudoscience and pseudo history has been going on and it has implications. No, I am sorry. African people from West Africa did not build the pyramids. Okay. Cleopatra did not like like that. And it, 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 also Jewish people do not build the pyramids. Okay. It is time for Hollywood to listen to the people who own that history. So well, you've made that. You've made that. One more thing. I'm going to say one more thing. Egypt, Egypt, Egypt had 30 dynasty over 2,700 years. We had kings and queens from the kingdom of Kush, the, from Nubia, from Libya. This area had, all, had bled into each other and expanded and shrunk into each other. I understand exactly what I mean when I say nationality okay. or heritage or ethnicity. You've both, so made, sorry, your, like, you've both uh, made your points yeah, strongly. Thank you. It's an interesting debate. Thank you both very much indeed.